Like a lot of you, every new year I make a list of resolutions meant to improve my life, but somehow things just keep getting worse. This wall is the only part of my apartment that isn't crawling with roaches. I think the reason it's so hard for me to stick to new year's resolutions is because they suck. Eat healthy. No. Get some exercise. For who? Pay income taxes. Ugh, I'm not making that mistake again. Resolutions that require diligence and hard work over a sustained period of time. I'm too good for those. So like any good American, I logged onto Amazon and threw some money at the problem. Today I'm showing you all of the products that I took with me into 2019 to help simplify my life without taking any extra work. I can't wait to hear what you guys think of some of these unique gadgets. <laughs> so make sure you stay tuned for an Amazon New Year's resolution haul. Hello television viewers, my name is Nick. Thank you so much for joining me once again on my channel for the day that we have all been waiting for. The day where I finally purchased all of those things I said I was gonna get when I moved into this apartment. Every little nook and cranny of my life where I'm just like slumming it and wasting away hours doing things that I hate. I thought, enough, I can purchase things and that will make my soul feel better. And I'm actually really impressed with the improvements that I've made over the first few weeks of 2019. I can't wait to show you, but first make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you want to see even more product roundup videos like this. I really enjoy making them. You can check out a playlist of other haul videos below. And if you're new to my channel, I would love to have you click that subscribe button right over here. That way you never miss new videos from me. I upload new ones every week. I purchased most of these things on a plane this New Year's Eve, and I was super excited to crack into this shipment and see what I had gifted myself to make things easier in the coming year. Just so you know, you can also shop this video on Amazon using my affiliate link in the description below. The first thing I purchased was a book. I know. <laughs> but please let me explain. I promise I would never read a book, okay? This is actually a journal of sorts called Two Minute Meditation by Neil Pasricha. Basically, this is just a formula to let you journal for two minutes every morning in a way that's really constructive for your brain. Every page, it just says the date, and then I will let go of, I am grateful for, and then I will focus on one, two, and three. I really wanted to shop for items that were going to improve my environmental footprint, save me time and money, but also, improve my soul and whatever. I love meditation and I've always been a fervent journaler, but I would always journal in the evening and sort of like obsessively recount everything that happened. So I love that this book lets me start the day with things that I'm grateful for. I do feel that that has a positive effect on my outlook for the rest of the day. This book was $13.38. That's enough of that. The next item I purchased, I'm very proud of. It's this tea cabinet, which is so cute. I love drinking herbal tea and I love like buying new ones all the time and collecting them and never drinking them. I don't know what my problem is. My kitchen's a mess. This is what it looked like when I was storing all of those teas. Why does every tea have to come in its own cardboard box? These aren't light bulbs. Honestly, it was preventing me from trying new teas and being adventurous because I was like, I can't add another box to that tumbling stack of tea boxes. So I came across this organizer in a list from Buzzfeed. This tea stand was $23.33. There were tea stands that were less expensive than this, but I just really liked the way this one looked, so I thought, I'm worth it. Just like I needed it to be, it didn't require any assembly. It was basically ready to go right outside the box. I wish you could load them into that cabinet a little bit faster. Like if they were spring-loaded, that would be great. I get it. I'm talking a lot about very little things, but that's the whole point of this, baby girl. This was such a good investment because every time I go to get my tea bag in the morning, I feel way better about the whole situation, and I finally feel like I can start buying more tea again and exploring the different blends and flavors and it's just so relieving to be able to open up that part of my life. This is the year of transformation. A new me. A new tea. It seems like this tea cabinet is meant for offices or bed and breakfast, but it's also really great for just my house, okay? Are you a tea fanatic? Let me know your favorites in the comments below, both caffeine and non-caffeine, because I'm ready to purchase some more tea selections. Okay, just like I already told you guys, I'm really interested in bettering my carbon footprint this year. I mean, I recycle. What more do you want? No, I'm just kidding. I feel like there are plenty more things I could be doing to conserve this this great planet of ours. Los Angeles has banned handing out single-use plastic straws unless the customer asks for them in most restaurants this year. What they're saying is everybody's gonna be really into reusable straws now. And I thought I should get on that bandwagon real quick, so I went ahead and purchased myself a set of super cute stainless steel straws that are reusable. I got these straws for $9.90 on Amazon Prime, and I was super excited after looking at all of the different options because this seemed like a great value. They're extra long, 
long. It comes with three curved straws and then three straight straws. And I didn't know I wanted that choice in a straw, but I do, cause I'm choosing every day, baby. I don't know if you have taken a full moment to recognize the iridescent rainbow beauty. Better than just solid color, I think, because just a little different, a little more fun. And the best part is the whole pack came with these two brushes, which you can use to obviously get in there and clean them out. Something that you have to do with reusable straws. The only other time I've used metal straws was when I've had like a milkshake at a restaurant and you forget how satisfying it is to sip a cold beverage through a stainless steel straw. It feels right. I'm telling you this is the wave of the future. Liquids, straws are the future. This next item on my list is all about keeping the mouth fresh. Oral health is important because the mouth is the part of the body used to insult others. What would I do if anything happened? How would I live? I'm just kidding, I use it to eat, but that's part of the problem. Spoiler alert, my mouth is gross sometimes. So is yours though, so don't look at me like that, okay? For that reason, I purchased this metal tongue scraper, which I use day and night. My mouth definitely feels cleaner and more fresh after this. I don't feel the need to use like scope or any sort of mouthwash. They say that the tongue is the smelliest part of the mouth. That's the grossest thing I've said all day. The next item on my list is something that I've always been curious to see if it would actually improve one of my least favorite chores of all time, folding laundry and putting it away. After seeing these several times in a retail store and then once again on one of these Buzzfeed lists, I thought, I have to do that. I'm getting myself a laundry folder. And I finally did it. Uh. I took this daddy-o out for its maiden voyage and went on to tackle a full pile of clean clothes. I did not consider how much you'd be seeing my underwear when I shot this. What can I say, I'm not Stanley Kubrick. This device costs just $12.99 and as you can see, it unfolds pretty easily once you figure out how to do it. What surprised me is that even if I just used this for t-shirts alone, that still cut my folding time down by so much. Who knew folding t-shirts was most of what I do while folding laundry, but then it makes sense because all I wear is t-shirts. I got through this big basket of laundry in only seven minutes. Now granted, I've never timed how long it takes me to fold any laundry without this t-shirt folder, but if I had to guess, I would say um a million years. It felt a lot quicker. I was like, <laughs> Clickety clack clack folded up. If I was more careful, then I could even use this to fold things more neatly and they would look really pretty in the closet. I'm not there yet. I'm just trying to do speed, okay? We're just trying to get it done quick and dirty. Laundry just got so much easier with this thing. I don't know why I waited so long to do this. A lot like the journal, the last item on my New Year's resolution purchase list was intended to help me bring a sense of tranquility and calm to my morning routine. And it has been doing just that for the last few mornings. I've been really pleased with my new sun set alarm clock. I purchased this from Amazon for only $19.99 and I really enjoyed it so far. It has a lot of buttons, so it took some reading of the instructions to figure out how to program it. But once I did that, I was able to set an alarm, which is actually just really peaceful music. You can choose between like seven sounds. Oh, that's a nice way to wake up, isn't it? And then you can set a period of time, 10, 20, 30 minutes, all the way through to an hour leading up to your alarm, the light will start to turn on and become fully bright so that it simulates to your body the rising of the sun and it helps wake you up more peacefully. I've definitely enjoyed that aspect because when the alarm does go off, I don't feel like as jarred into consciousness. Also, uh, the previous lamp that I had on my bedside table took up some space and I couldn't see my Alexa behind there and she felt left out. Alexa, are you excited for 2019? Sorry. I'm not sure. Okay, you can even change the color of the light, which is pretty cool if you want to do that. So there are some features, okay? I really like the way this wakes me up and for the price, it's a really solid product. I can tell from these material possessions I've gained that life is really starting to shape up. Gone are the days of folding my clothes like a slow ass monkey, drinking out of plastic straws like someone who doesn't love trees. And uh, I don't know, what else did I buy? Clocking, a waking up, alarm clocks. I should have had a third thing prepared for that list. What do you guys think of my new year's resolutions purchase? Do you think these are going to help me effortlessly improve my life? Do you think any of these might be useful to you? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear your thoughts. Don't forget to check out the affiliate link if you want any of this stuff. But first, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you want to see even more product roundups like this. I love recommending products for you guys and trying them and filling my home with them. But most importantly, if you're new to my channel, I would love to have you click that subscribe button right over here. That way you join the Nick D crew and never miss new videos from me. I upload new ones every week. You guys are all the greatest. Thank you for checking out the these life-changing gadgets with me. I will see you next time.